Hey guys and welcome to Petrol Ped and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. I am at home this week, although I am still delivering online training so I'm super busy during the day, but I thought it might make a nice change to film the Midweek 180 this week next to our Christmas tree. Anyway, if you've not seen one of these before, this is my midweek update where I bring you my news, views and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm going to 180 seconds in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and that's it, a very simple format. So without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's midweek 180. But before we get to the time section, we have a prize draw. Because if you commented in the first two hours of Friday's video, which was my living with the Julia Quadrifolio video, um, you will be in with a chance of winning this rather splendid mug uh, donated by the British Mini Club. Now, I'm a proud member of the British Mini Club. I'll put all their details below. And if you are a mini owner, then I, I really do recommend them. They do a fantastic uh, magazine as well. Uh, but yes, I thought this was a rather splendid mug. So everybody's name is in the mug. Everybody who commented in the first two hours. There's about 130 names in the mug again this week. It takes a long time to sort out, that's for sure. So basically I'm going to um, give it a good old shake, mess around all the names, and I'll put my email address in the description of this video. And whosoever name I pull out, drop me an email and we will arrange delivery of the mug. I just hope you have a mini. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the winner is Nigel Cresswell. So Nigel, uh, if you put your details um, in an email um, to the email address in the description of this video, um, we'll organise getting that mug to you. Uh, thank you British Mini Club again for donating that. Now this week's prize is a little bit different and a little bit special. I've raided my hmm, things that you might like draw and I've come up with this. now. On first glance, this just looks like any other Festival of Speed baseball cap. I've never worn this, by the way, so it's, it's an unworn. But this was from a few years ago now. Uh, Lotus were a title sponsor. And this was actually a prototype um, cap. And they never made them exactly the same as this. This is one of the, the first runs to see if it would work. Um, and they never made them. So this is a one-off. Uh, and I think it's rather special. So if you want to win this Festival of Speed cap, then you need to comment in the first two hours of this Friday's video. And then I can get that to you. Maybe you'll even get that before Christmas, but it is rather special. I am actually quite fond of this. It was one of these giveaways. I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to give this away. It's even got a nice union flag on the side, Lotus um, uh, logo there and festival or goodwood.com on the back a lovely lovely cap i like that very much so first two hours of friday's video anyway time for the timed part uh let's get cracking 180 seconds i shall start my timer okay leader of the pack last week was ben higginson uh congratulations sir joined in the famous five by ginger barry francois g colin billingham and tim martin uh, so whoever puts the first comment this week, you'll be my leader of the pack next week. And the first five comments, you're in my famous five. Where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was Tim Martin, who um, was, is part of the Talk of Tankerton, who is a group of local businesses who come together at Christmas to spread good cheer. And they've been putting up trees and lights and Christmas decorations in their local area. And I just thought it was really lovely. Um, so wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Uh, the question last week was, is your tree up? Clearly mine is, went up in November, but let's not go there. Normally, the tree in our house goes up this coming weekend, so it has been up a bit early, uh, but lots of you got the tree up. Uh, this week's question, I wanted to start looking forward to next year, maybe a bit of motorsport action next year. So if you could go to three motorsport events next year, what would they be, um, uh, irrespective of whether they're running or not? So I would choose Le Mans. I'd love to go to either the Indy 500 or any NASCAR race. That is a long-term ambition of mine. I'd love to do that. And I really do want someday to go to the Isle of Man TT. So they're my three. <laughs> there was quite a few other ones on my list as well. Now, Formula One at the weekend. Oh, my goodness me. Well, I cried um, for the second week running, thanks to Formula One. George Russell, absolutely incredible performance. Amazing qualifying. Uh, and he was just so unlucky in the race. I won't quite say he's robbed, but so unfortunate. But what's really annoying me is everyone jumping on, oh, he's only doing it because of the car. That is such a disservice to how difficult what he did at the weekend was. 
He's six foot two and the car is designed for someone who's five foot seven. He was crammed in, he wore a pair of shoes a size smaller than his feet to try and get his feet on the pedals. And to learn that car, it was phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. Valtteri Bottas was made to look very ordinary, that's for sure. I think we'll see George in a Mercedes uh, 2022, I reckon. Uh, Perez, congratulations, amazing to see him win his first race. And I have to say, he needs to be in Albon's car next year. Uh, it's a crime that he is not gonna be in a car next year. And that absolute tool of Nikita Mazepan is, and I don't know if you've seen what he's done this week, posted an inappropriate post on social media. And he's only there because he's got a rich father, basically. And it just winds me up that he is gonna get an F1 seat and someone as talented as Sergio Perez isn't. I know that will stimulate some debate in the comments, but it's really wound me up. Uh, very quickly, new car news this week. This is a continuation Bentley blower. First one in 90 years. Um, they, they're only making 12, they're all sold. It's basically based on the original drawings and jigs from the original car, but I love it because the springs are made by a company called Jones Springs in the Midlands. I visited them when we were filming for Vintage Voltage and I know all the guys and I just thought it was really cool. And then I wanted to quickly mention Monday's video. I have ran out of time. Oh! I need to mention Monday's video. I knew I'd run out of time and in a way I'm glad I have because if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put a link above, go and head, go and head over. It was a video I didn't know how it would go down. I had basically had a Zoom call with one of my oldest friends, the guy who was my best man, to talk about his microbrewery in North Wales, Snowden Craft Beer, and the challenges he was having because of the coronavirus restrictions in Wales and the ban on alcohol sales after six o'clock. Uh, and overnight, literally overnight last week, he lost 85% of his sales. And, and we put an offer out, we decided to ask people if you wanted to buy a Christmas beer, order online, we gave you 20% off using the PED20 discount code, which is still active until the 20th of December. Um, we sold 130 orders in the first 12 hours. Literally, we crashed the website and then crashed the stock control system because he just didn't expect it to be that much. And he, um, Jonathan and his team spent the whole of yesterday basically, oh, I'm sorry, Monday, packing, no, Tuesday, packing those orders. I put a picture, look, that was the workshop or the, the brewery. And then he shipped as many as he could yesterday. And I've already had people messaging me today saying they've had their beer arrive on Wednesday morning, literally just a day later. Um, absolutely amazing response. I cannot thank you enough for those people who were generous enough to basically say, I'm not gonna use the discount code, I'm just gonna order the beer. It was amazing, incredible response. I had a call with Jonathan last night and he's quite literally overwhelmed. Um, and I want to say a massive thank you. If you still want to order your beer, by the way, fill your boots, I'll put the details below. Just go to snowdencraftbeer.co.uk and at checkout use the, uh, the PetrolPed20 discount code and you can get 20% off your beer order for Christmas. And you'll get a bonus beer in the box which is an unnamed beer and we are desperately trying to get a name, uh, find a name for that and you are most welcome to uh, suggest names for it. Anyway, I'm waffling on about that, but I, well, I was overwhelmed with it. Very quickly, Friday's video, six o'clock, um, is I took uh, the Ruby Roadster to a track day last week. I had an amazing day with the Goodwood Marshalls Club, raising money for charity, for uh, Race for Dementia and for Canine Partners. And I was there with Joe Achilles uh, and me and my good buddy Joe, we were basically doing hot laps for the day. And uh, between us, we raised uh, about uh, just over 350 pounds running hot laps. And then at the end of the day, I let Joe drive my car and he broke it. <laughs> so you've got to tune in on Friday to see what he's done. But I know I've massively overrun there. But I really did want to talk about uh, for Monday's video. Of, for me, uh, I might even do a dog walk video on it, I think, um, for next Monday, just to talk about, about how amazing that was and, and how it's made me really evaluate my role as a YouTuber. But anyway, uh, I'll leave that for the dog walk. Uh, guys, thank you very much. Don't forget, if you comment in the first two hours of Friday's video, me taking Ruby Roadster on a track day, you will be in with, with winning this rather amazing Goodwood cap. Um, but I am going to call it quits there. I hope you enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome, and if you haven't done so already, Please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come, and I'll see you on the next film, guys, which is this Friday at 6 o'clock. For me, Ruby Roadster, Goodwood Motor Circuit, and Joe Achilles breaking my car. I'll see you on that one, guys.